This video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment all in one place. With Audible, you can find the largest selections of audiobooks, ranging from bestsellers and new releases, to original entertainment from top celebrity creators, and thousands of binge-worthy podcasts. Audible members get one credit every month, good for any title in the entire premium selection, and they're yours to keep forever. You'll also get access to the Plus Catalog, that's filled with thousands of audiobooks and more that are included in your membership, so you can download and stream all you want, no credits needed. New members can try Audible for 30 days, download and listen offline, anytime, anywhere. The Audible app is free and can be installed on all smartphones and tablets. It even saves your spot across devices. You can also roll your credits over up to a year, so you can save them to binge on a giant series or just take your time picking and choosing your next title. And if you're not loving your selection, don't worry, you can simply swap it for another. So the suggestion for the audiobook this month is actually from my husband, Ben, and he had two recommendations. One of them is an audiobook. It is a sequel, Ready Player Two. I think I talked about Ready Player One before, but there is a sequel. He says it's really, really good, and it's fun to be back in that universe. His other recommendation was a podcast, and that is called uh, Pod Save the World. I think it's a very popular podcast. It's about American foreign affairs, um, and Ben loves listening to podcasts. I always ask him to give me updates on what he heard. I'm like, summarize it for me. Summarize it. So, those are Mr. Ben's recommendations if you'd like to check those out. An Audible membership also makes an incredible gift this holiday season, and now is the best time to do it. There is a special offer of 60% off your first three months. That's only $5.95 a month. It is perfect for people who commute, people who go to the gym, anyone who's going on a road trip. If you're just being cozy, being indoors, and not looking at screens, give yourself or a loved one the gift of listening. Go to audible.com slash gb or text gb to 500 500. That's audible.com slash gb. Thank you so much, Audible, for sponsoring today's video, and thank you for watching. Hello, hello, I'm Dr. GB. Nice to- <gasps> Oh my god. Are- are you- are you okay? Wait a minute. This chart. I've seen you before, haven't I? Two times. I had to change professions because of you. And now you're here. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Are you? Okay. Um. Welcome into your appointment. I will be doing an orbital exam today. Um, how, how are your orbitals lately? Mm hmm Oh, I see. Okay. Um, just remind me, your date of birth. Okay. And, um, did you have any conditions that I should be aware of? Slow down, slow down, slow down, please, slow down. Um, mm hmm. Gastro. What? Pulmonary. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Four times. Four times? Okay. Four times. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And you were hospitalized for how long? Okay. Mm hmm. Temporary blindness.
I'm a little afraid to ask you what medication you're taking. You already submitted the binder to the receptionist. Okay, great. Thank you. So, what brings you in today? Really? Well, that is terrible luck, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they brought you straight here, not to the emergency room. Sure, why not? Okay, well, no problem. I am indeed a medical professional, and I will be able to treat you. I just have to run a few tests first. They're very simple tests. Um, the first one is just examining your face. I, I don't love what I'm seeing, if I'm being honest with you. No, I don't. Um, let me put on some gloves. Why don't I? We don't really want to contaminate. Rings up. Um, how are you speaking right now? Medical mystery. Interesting. All right. Well, it seems to me like you're in good spirits. So, it's actually a little unsettling. Let me just clean off right here. Does that hurt? Kind of tender, swollen. That makes sense. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to do is get some measurements. There's a lot of protrusions, 3D things that really shouldn't be 3D. And I would like to wrap my brain around that, if I'm being honest with you. So, uh, if you could just look ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that shouldn't be that. Okay, well, what about this here? I just get a little measurement. And this? Heavens. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, the medical journal called me after your last appointment. Mm -hmm. I had about three months three months worth of meetings. Okay. Oh my. Uh-huh. That... that shouldn't be mathematically possible. Let me just get... Perhaps I'm just... Perhaps it's user error. No. That's correct. Well, it's not correct, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna have to bring out the big boy. And this is going to be to measure between your pupils. So, look straight ahead. Try not to move. Just gonna inch the Mm-hmm. 
you to follow the light, all right? See this light right here? Can you see it? All right, we're gonna start right here. And just follow the light. It's going down, going down, 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 down. It's going to the side. Going to the side, you're right. Up, 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 up. There you go, there you go. Oh, oh, you lost a little. You're losing it. Over, 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 come on, come on, bring it over, bring it over, and up, and down, 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 stay with me here, stay with me, okay, back up, and over, back to the center, and you're not even trying anymore, okay. this here. Okay. Hold it. Cover your one eye. What color is this? Red. Okay. Um. Okay. What if you cover this eye? Marker. What color is this? Green? Well, the marker was blue, but you saw red with one eye and green with the other. All right. Um, let's try that again. Okay. Let's cover this eye again. What color is this? What color? Yellow. Um, how certain are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, if I cover this eye, same marker, what color? Blue. Hmm. Um, well, I don't really know how to tell you this, but that one was the green one. You see green? Both eyes open, you see green. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's test out this discrepancy here. Cover your eye. Now, I want you to look at my nose, okay? Look at my nose. And tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? How many fingers? No. Mm -mm. No. No. Unfortunately, you got none of those. Let's try it over here. Okay. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh-uh. Not quite. No. Mm -mm. Close. Kind of. Okay. Now, without covering your eyes, look at my nose. How many fingers am I holding up? Add them together. A little bit of math here. Mm-hmm. Huh. Maybe 
if I go a little slower. Eyes on my nose. There. Maybe my gloves are distracting me. Try this one again. This one, right here. That's okay. That's totally fine. You know what? I have a good idea. Why don't I get out the kindergarten test chart? Maybe that will be a bit easier for you. So, we'll start down here. What do you see? What do you see right here? And this? Mm, what about this? Um, okay, let's try easier, easier line. This? Mm. We'll go up a little. This one. What's this? What does that look like to you? Mm, what about this? No. No. Can you tell me what this is? Of course you can't. Okay. I have a few more tests. Now, I actually need to listen to your eye. It may sound a little odd, but there is indeed something for me to listen to back there. So I just want you to close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes, and I'm just going to take a listen. You don't have to breathe or anything. Well, definitely breathe, but you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hits. Let me take a listen to the other side. Okay. Let me take a listen. Close your eyes. I can't hear anything. Is that. could not hear anything. And the other side sounded like Ultra Music Fest. Okay. No, no, no. That's not normal. Not in the slightest. So let me get the pressure on your eye here. It's going to get pretty close. Uh, just try to keep your eyes open as much as you can. And I'm just going to get this close to your eye and a little puff of air. It's going to measure the pressure in your eye. Okay, ready? Let me try that again. 
Everything's broken. There's something wrong with this. Such a little... Okay, one more time. Measure the other one. Stay still, stay still, stay still. Okay. Well, I am not too pleased with the pressure. The numbers I'm getting back are alarming at best. The fact that your eyes are still solid and not liquid is making me question basic chemistry. So I'm going to need a little sample. Alright, so I'm going to put the gloves back on for this. Just one glove, I think, is uh, all I need. And I'm just going to have you send this off to the lab. Um, I will warn them that it's coming. They're gonna give me a call. Uh, the CDC will probably get involved. And I'm just gonna have you... You can just book the rest of the appointments that I have for the week. Um, Jones will have to suck it up. No, no, this, this is beyond an emergency. Go home to your children, Matt. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. All right. So, do you have any questions for me? Why? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, but, to be honest with you, I'm not going to be able to run any more tests until I get some results back. So that is why I'm going to need you to come back in tomorrow, and probably the next day, and the next day. Okay. Well, for tonight, I guess just drink some water. Yeah, drink some water, lots of rest, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Good luck.